Let's talk about that juicy little present that the good boys over at Square Enix and the one that Final Fantasy producer Shinji Hashimoto retweeted enough to the point it would be absolutely evil of them to not deliver on what we was all expecting from yesterday. That's right, you know what I'm talking about. The gift of the goddess. This apple? Okay, I'll admit that's pretty close, but let's fast forward that timeline just a bit to get to the real chunk of the video. Let's be honest here, it was beginning to feel like the Versus 13 days with just how long it was taking for us to get something new and how little we actually were informed about when we did get something. The last major things that were revealed about the game's development was that CyberConnect 2 were no longer the ones that was actually putting the game together and that it was brought back in-house for Square Enix themselves to work on. That and various changes to the game's quality, like Cloud's design that was received mixed responses back when we first got a good look at him in 2015 would see further improvements. And sure, you can already tell that things are actually coming along nicely. Cloud's body no longer has that malnourished and sickly look that so many people said he had. Despite his naturally messy hair, he actually looks like he's been taking care of himself. Despite some not so unexpected changes to the battle system's HUD like the removal of options such as summon, as I'm sure that's due to it still being early game stuff, combat is still all about that real time action and it seems to be generally the same while definitely looking a lot smoother than before and party switching is in fact a thing. The defend option is gone for some reason, although blocking is still possible as seen here in this clip. The same seems to go for magic and items, but I assume you could just press the circle button to access them in the command menu maybe? My other guess is that all the actions are going to be mapped to the face buttons instead of menus like Kingdom Hearts. While I gotta say I didn't really expect that, if that's to be the case that is, I am used to that type of combat from Final Fantasy Type-0. This is however going to be a great thing for making good use out of your party members to access materia that they will have access to that Cloud won't at the time. <laughs> Which means don't lie upon error for healing your team members at that certain part of the game. I also noticed that Cloud and Barrett both have a move above attack called Punisher and Backshot respectively, available for both of them to use in battle. As you can see here, Cloud pulls off Cross Slash on an enemy and also in another scene has the Limit Braver in another menu. So maybe something like Punisher is a V-labeling of Limit exclusive to Cloud as Backshot is to Barrett. Or it's just two new abilities that I'm looking way too much into. With that being said, we'll just have to wait and see. But let's talk real quick about voice acting. Cloud sounds weirdly different than he does in the 2015 trailer. Before you could tell it was definitely Steve Burton, but now he sounds younger? I'm not sure what's going on with that. But everyone sounds themselves. Barrett sounds like he does in the movie. Air sounds way better as well. I think Ray Chase may be handling Biggs as well from the sounds of it. Just like Cloud, Sephiroth also sounds a little different as well. The VA got the character down, I can already tell that, but he sounds off. And lastly, Tifa. She's definitely a character in this trailer that if I had to describe in one sentence, she definitely was there, but at the same time, not there at all. You see, what I mean by that is you can clearly see her name in the battle hood, but she's absolutely nowhere to be found in any scenes that I could tell from among my many back and forth inspections of this trailer. If you ask me, I think Square is honestly saving the best for last to show her and Sephiroth's face when they talk about the game at E3. But that's pretty much it that I have to say I got from the trailer. Like I said in the start of the video, ever since they brought the game back in house, it looks so much better. And knowing the more, he's definitely going to keep pushing the quality up as much as he can by release. I'm hoping they'll give us a release date come E3. While I'm not expecting a late 2019 release date, I do think that a 2020 release date may not be so far-fetched at this point, and maybe down the line a Switch version. Keep in mind, with some downgrades and in the right hands, I could see it happening. Regardless, let me know your comments on how you like this teaser trailer in the comments, and make sure to drop a like and subscribe for all things Bear Boy, and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video. Laters!